Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. This video will be whatever project I'm working on. And I don't do a separate, sometimes I do a separate openings for them, sometimes I don't. Again, it's just a summer opening and uh, I just wanted to throw one out there. And we'll blend it in. It's probably when I get a chance to sit down and do some videos. Um, a lot of upcoming things that you're going to be seeing on these videos of summer projects or whatnot. Well, once I kind of get back in the shop for the summer right now that has been occupied a lot. So I hope you uh, enjoy the channel, enjoy the videos, and subscribe and follow. So just jump right on in there. Now I'm going to start this video at the risk of troll feeding. Excuse me. This is a little brass end that goes on a dresser. And somehow at the other end is gone. Now before anybody starts, it will not look like this. It, all I'm going to do is make a, a, a close facsimile so we can put the handle in. Um, I've already sawed a piece of brass and we're going to more or less start to work on it. So come along for the ride. Okay I'm going to go do the there we go. We've, I'm going to turn my that way I can see what I've got here. And uh, Let me uh, let me do something before I get back with you. Just hold on just a minute. Sorry, um, I decided one of the problems I have is my material where I had to saw it. It's a safety structure because the piece of material I'm using, lack of better word, had a big mushroom end on it. Well, it was actually used for a doctor for a long time. So the first thing I'm going to do before I do any machining is to try to get some of this out. Now I'm going to be up front. I'm not going to clean the faces completely up. As long as I'm cleaning in the areas I'm going to be needing down close to the center. So as long as I get me a flat face down here near the center of the part is all I'm really going to be after here because these are so crooked I don't want to waste them the time. Even though this is an old piece of brass that I've had around for a long time and it's been used for an office. So I'll bring you back when I get this face off. What I did is I flipped this around and turned a little bit on the OD because it's full of mushrooms and the street was used. All I'm doing is I'm not getting this completely true across the face. All I'm trying here is just enough to uh, clear the face. I had to step out just for a little bit. Uh, my hearing aids will get us in trouble and I drop them off and come back and I'll put they'll bring an L call me a little while and hopefully I may have to quit again. But I want to get this work on today. So I need to go a hair a bit more just because I want this it don't have to be completely cleaned up. But it needs to be clean enough for the diameter that we're going to use. So, I'll bring you back. Okay, now what we're going to do, and I've thought about it, and thought about it, and thought about it. This has got a smaller screw in it. But instead of drilling, my original plan was to make a threaded piece. 
But what I'm thinking about doing instead, I've got to have something to hold this back to machine it with. And we've got to be able to drill and thread it for the screw to mount it to the piece of furniture. So what I'm going to do is make this a quarter inch in length at a quarter inch diameter and that will give us with a 1030 with a 1032 screw that will give us a little bit of wall thickness to hold it. With the quarter inch then all I have to do is take a drill and drill this in just enough in a piece of furniture for this to mount in it. Also that'll give me something to hold to the machine the other side with. So what we're going to do right now is turn this down to quarter inch. Alright, we're going to get the last two. So right, I, I just changed my mind and decided since I'm going to drill a hole, I'm going to go about 3 sixteenths, which is 3 twelfths. So that gives me a little bit more wall here to hold on to. So, I can drill this hole the, out to what I need it to be. Okay, so I'm about 370 right now. So I need to go 370, 365, 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm going to make a couple of cuts here. Yeah. Like I said, this will be hit inside the, the unit. Okay, so I want 312, and I've got approximately about 328 or so. So, 10,000 would be 318. Get real close to the I'm gonna take a spring cut and I'm gonna cut up this face. The idea here is this is this is gonna be the boss. That's close enough. That's real close to 312. Okay, we'll just throw this side up and we'll make a little right cut. And then we'll back face this side. Alright, let me measure my limit for how much I've got here. This is a balance in that. We know that the, the piece of furniture, I don't want it to go too deep. So I want this to be about a little bit over a quarter inch. So I need to take just a little off the end right here. And I want this to be, I, want, I, know, I just basically want to drill a countersink hole. There we go. Where five sixteenths and see now I can just drill me a little countersink hole in this and get what I want. Now what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna deburr it while I'm still stuck up. And I'm gonna use this diameter now I, I admit this piece is over. But I want that tarnish that tarnish piece the other side of this when it's flipped over there's several other little operations, obviously. So what I'm going to do now is get my stuff together to drill and tap this out. Uh, 1032. All right. I know you noticed the setup here. So what I what I do instead of using a caliper like some people, I just have a piece made. Mine this screws got a little brass screw that gets to it, and this is a two-inch travel indicator, which should give me enough. We're going to go ahead and set this so we can get plenty of travel. 
up and just kind of show you the way I like to do it. All right. It's set up now that it's showing me about it. So, so basically, I just need to go in about 250 thousandths. So, start the flames up. 100. 50. See how that looks. That's a quarter in ten. I've got a little bit of room. I'll just go right up there and touch that by lightning. Let's just go ahead and go another 100,000. Good, I'll keep you right there. What this will do is have me off the very bottom of the uh, unit. Now I'll just grab me up a, a tap, take this here off right quick, put it up, and I'm gonna, what I'll do is just hand tap this real quick. A lot of times I do this a lot, you know, I know, again, we'll feed the trolls a little bit. It's just easier sometimes to do things this way. Now I ain't got the tap tight. Tap's not get this little problem situated there you go to me I know we got tap followers but then that's extra time or extra mounting and as long as I've got this drill is going to start it pretty straight and I'm, I don't know if you can see I've got my if you can't see my other hand in the view I'm using I'm just pushing the back of the tail stop it's loose it's got my hand in the back of the tail stop pushing the tap to guide it. So what this will do, okay, we're bottom. We'll just crank this out and I'll get a bottom and tap and run right in here and hit it to the bottom. But what this does is allows me to, there you go, this allows me to be able to run what I use for my work table, again, you can't see that, it's off view. You know, for those of you who know my shop's fairly tight, I probably have a small, my building is small. The noise you hear is a little humid today, and I went ahead and turned the air conditioner on. And uh, so basically what I'm doing right now is run this bottom and tap in. And we get this part machine, and this will be the piece that's going up in a piece of furniture. And I still may cut some more of this off. I may end up taking out a saw or something actually and cut more off. But I, I, I need this much space to hold everything. So let's make sure our screw fits and threads in. Oh yeah, that's going to work. Alright, I'll bring you back. Now I've got to take this loose, put the collet chuck on and all that good stuff. So. I'll bring you back and put you to sleep as her old self. Okay, guys, I'm going to try this again. If you're, and uh, we'll see, we go back. This is a couple of days later. Um, we are still working on this. And we're going to see what happens in the Wall. Uh, I'm going to bring you back when I get down close to the finish diameter.
things I just make in several cuts here, and I'm going to bring them back. I thought I'd already turned it off. One of the things I'm going to say uh, is the bad thing of making anything like this out of billet is you've got a lot of waste. And, you know, unless you just, like I'm saying, this is just for me and it's a, a, a project here at the house. And if it wasn't something I wanted for myself, most definitely it would not be practical to do. So, it's one of them things sometimes. Alright, I've got it down to the diameter I'm wanting. So what I'm doing now is, this is too long, but it's kind of on purpose. Now, the original diameter was about 350. I'm going to, you know, again, this is nothing that fits to this. This is more cosmetic. I'm going to try to, um, I left this about 25,000 feet. That just will give me a little more room to work with, put the drills in and stuff like that. Because remember, this is a cosmetic piece. This is not... This is not... a fitting piece. And as I've said all along, this is not going to be a part that actually... All this is going to be is a handle pull for a dresser. So, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do, and, I, and as I said in the beginning of the video, I know this is not going to look exactly like the original. There's no way I can do that with machining. And, like I said too, Pretty D ink Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do while it's in the lathe is to create my radius. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a chamfer on it. And then I'm gonna blend the chamfer more or less with a uh, file to make it round. That's the plan. And I got to be careful chamfering this because this stuff is not helped with the best of intentions. And so we have to deal with it. And so what we're going to have to do here Next is I'm gonna go over here to the mill and get some stuff and we'll get set up. Okay, and you hear my air conditioner in the background. I'm gonna change the fan speed down to automatic so it takes some of the background noise out. I'm not again I'm not gonna be precise with this, but I am just gonna what I'm gonna do is find the center. This is the drill. What I did is I more or less went to my 
Um, I'm just going to drill this. I'm not even going to put a flat on this thing because you know, i got to figure out where I will put the drill, obviously, which will be the next problem, which we'll work this out in a minute. I want to get it centered up. So just to make it easier, save time, energy, and trouble, is we're just going to... Okay. We'll just set a... Uh, We'll just do it this way instead of using a. Uh, I do this a lot and stuff is super and just not critical. Just try to get it close. I mean, I'm not exact. Again, this doesn't have to be exactly in the center, just eyeball center, and this is closer than eyeball center. So I'm oh. okay. You heard me pushing the DRO buttons to give me my center, and okay, that's going to pretty much give me my center there. It looks pretty good. So let's call it Y zero. We will lock that. Y-axis table there. Now, <coughs> I need this tape my scale. I'm going to leave the camera running just a second. I'm just going to take the scale and I'm going to just look at the scale and kind of figure the center off the edge here with the scale. It's about three sixteenths looks like off the center. So we're going to do the same process with the with the uh, x-axis here. Hit the oil just there a second. I'm just going to go down here and get close and kind of touch it with the drill. Now let's see what size this drill is, by the way. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. Let me double check. I got two out of the drill. It's an excerpt. I'll make sure I got the right one. One was for the screw holes. Yeah. Okay. So this reel was 180. So it's 180 thousandths. It's a number, a letter drill. We want to go in <coughs> 90 thousandths for zero. Okay, and we need to go in three sixteenths of an inch, roughly, to center this. We're going to use a center drill. I'm not going. I'm going to try not to flat it if I can. So let me move in three sixteenths, which would be 187 more thousands. And we'll check it. We'll do a little sanity check here. Again, <coughs> I'm 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 gonna apologize. This is it does it because this is just something that go on a cabinet. It is not designed or intended to be perfect. And obviously it's not gonna be the same because we're gonna have color issues and whatnot. So so what I'm gonna do is kind of line everything up based on this, you know, and I'm going to say by guessing by gosh method here. All right, let me get the center drill in place and we'll see. Right, here we go. I'm gonna put, I may come back and flat this, but I won't put the hole in first. If I come back and flat this, it's going to be. I went back and again done another sand to check. And I moved it just a little more back to where I thought it would really need to be. I'm going to get this center in there real good to put it down on a round surface. Oh, there we go. That's a good place to start the drill right there. I may come back and put a mill in. I may just leave it round. 
again, this is not going to be exactly like the original. I'm going to because obviously you can't make it like the original because A, it's not going to have the patina, B, it's not going to have a little rope pattern to it. So, this is just an approximation to get me something that'll work. I'm just being, I'm just, yeah, that should be enough there to hold. Okay, let me get this out and have a look, see at it, see what else I'm going to do with it. So, okay, I'm going to do a quick shot of it installed. And I'm going to, like I'm saying, I'm going to apologize again to the trolls. Yes, I know it's not exact, but it fixes it. To make it exact would be very difficult. So this is what it looks like. This is a view back. I'll pull back a little bit. This is a view back. Excuse the lighting. It's in the bedroom here. So, so that's it. Now the handle's at least attached, and I'm a happy camper. And I hope you enjoyed today's video of me making this piece for the dresser. Now, I'm going to repeat it again for all the trolls out there and all the naysayers out there. I'm going to repeat this one more time. I know it would not exactly look like the original. There's no way using a piece of brass without being able to age it to make something that's sort of made out of cast and press stuff to make it work. My goal was to get something to put the handle back on the dresser. That's what the madam wanted, that's what I wanted, that's what we need. Is it perfect? No. Is it exact? No. Is it functional? Very much so. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video of me making this little piece out of brass. It's just one of the little things I'm going to do. I've got a couple of little small house projects I'm going to be working on shortly. Then I'm going to get back on some stuff here at the shop. There's some outdoor paintings got to be done on the building a few other things so i thought that that would be a good thing so with that being said and done i hope you enjoyed this video and come back the next time i decide to make one thank you I hope you enjoyed today's video, uh, whatever we've done today, because usually I shoot a close and, and put together a montage at the end, so this is usually my way of saying thank you. Now, if I haven't said it enough, I will say it. Every subscriber I've got, I appreciate. Appreciate every view I get. Now, do we have the big channel? No. Do we want to have a big channel? Well, I'd be stupid saying I wouldn't be a little jealous if I didn't, but my mode of making these videos isn't to get rich. It is to have fun. So those along come along and enjoy the videos and have fun with me, I appreciate it. But please do share it with your friends if, if they're not subscribers. And, you know, Bring them over here and let us look at another, somebody else is doing this. You know, I'm a career machinist, but, and I've always liked to make things. So when I've retired, now I really have more plenty of time. Right now, you know, we've been kind of busy with some house projects and stuff, so that's slowed us up here for the last several months. But I hope you enjoy the videos, and hope you enjoy today's video. Again, please subscribe. Please tell your friends, and if you are a subscriber, 
thank you so very much. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next video when I make another one.